Hello fellow lovers of virtual retro reality. My name is Cubits and today we're going to take MUVR or EMUVR, MUVR, emulator in VR. We're taking that to the next level basically. Uh, so normally you would uh, bolt your headset on your face, log in with virtual desktop so you've got your wirelessness which is all the rage, grab your controllers and then you would try and play your Donkey Kong countries and stuff using a stick and a couple of buttons, which is not the optimal VRing experience. So what I've done instead is, because I have a plethora of controllers available to me, um, I have optimized my experience thusly. So what we have here is a Neo Geo X controller. Uh, the Neo Geo X was an official Neo Geo controller uh, for a retro style console that Neo that uh, SNK tried to do. And uh, I've got this one on this cable here. Um, it's quite a long cable. Um, it's not a USB cable, for at the end of the cable is a dingly dangly Wiimote. 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 Um, and what this means is, I can basically, this is wirelessly connected via Bluetooth to my gaming PC, which is in the corner of the room. But what I can do is I can cast that out in front of me, boonk, like that. And now, when I'm playing in VR, I have the full tactile experience of the correct controller in my lap, attached to a wire, so I've got the feeling of the wire here. And then if I get up, and so, like, because of the room scale nature of uh, MUVR, I can walk over to the console and like turn it on and turn it off or change the cartridge or whatever and the cable is in the right spot. So the length of my cable, my real cable leads to my virtual console. And of course if I trip over the wire all I'm doing is booting a Wiimote across the room and they were built for that. They've got 10 years of experience, no 15 years of experience. When did the Wii come out? How old am I? Is this grey? Is there a couple of greys now? Because I'm using a Wiimote, I'm not just limited to the Neo Geo, of course, because <laughs> I've been around the block a few times. Whoop. And so I've got things like uh, the SNES controller from the Mini SNES, right? Which terminates, at standard, with a Wiimote connector. So I can plug that into my Wiimote, uh, like that, and now I can play my Donkey Kong Countries. Um, or, you know, any other SNES games, but mostly just the Donkey Kong Countries because they are the best SNES games. Fight me. Um, yeah, so that, that works perfectly and like you can't get much more authentic than a Nintendo made SNES controller, right? So we got that. What else have I got here? Ooh. Much less used is the mini NES controller, of course, because NES games have not aged as well. I was there when they originally came out. It's just true, they haven't aged as well. Um, and I've also got things like a regular cheap uh, classic controller pro from the Wii, which of course has the sticks to do Nintendo 64 games, GameCube games, PS1, PS2, yada, 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 yada. Everything else is basically covered by this bad boy here. So I guess all we've got left to do now is to jump in and have a bit of a play around with the MUVR setup that I've got. So it takes a little bit of fiddling with the little menus, um, like the RetroArch menus, you have to set up the controller and stuff like that. Um, but once it's all set up, it saves the controller mapping per console, basically. Uh, so then every time you jump onto a new console, the mapping carries across for all my controllers. Just whack them into the Wiimote and it's good to go every single time now. So let's get into emulation, shall we? Ah, uh, boop. We are in my room. So now, the trick here is, uh, this is uh, let me just, uh, I'm just gonna step backwards, move my thing here, and we're gonna turn my view. Oh, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up my real chair with my fake chair, and I believe it has to go back a little bit. And now if I, yes. A little bit further back. All right, cool. So now my real chair and my fake chair should be lined up. So I can sit my butt 
in my virtual chair. Hey, and we are in front of the TV. I'm just going to kill the light for a second. And yeah, it looks fantastic, doesn't it? Got the fan spinning. It's currently 9.30, which is, I mean, I don't think I've got it set to a real time clock, but that is an option. You can have the time exactly as it is in reality. It's actually eight o'clock here right now. I'm going to walk over to my console. I'm going to turn my, oh wait, I just have to plug in the right console here. So I'm going to unplug this one. I'm going to grab my Super Nintendo and I'm going to plug that bad boy into my TV. And I'm going to put my Super Nintendo back because we're going to play a little bit of Donkey Kong Country. So I'm just going to turn that on. Oh, there we go, the blue screen. Oh. I'm just going to take... So that's focus on there, so I'm not going to need this controller anymore. And now I've got my Super Nintendo controller. And we can just... So we got our jump, we got our roll, we got our extra life, we know what we're doing here. Kinda. Let's go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We could go there across the top, but we're just gonna... Might high five and get onto a bit of Diddy. I think he's got a better vertical leap, doesn't he? Ah, oh, yes, we missed that life, that's all right. Boop, boop. Yeah, here we go, Donkey's got it. Get that emu. Yeah. So Emu VR, huh? There you go, in VR. In Emu VR. VR Emu in Emu VR. Boom. Let's go, Rambi. Oh, the first one is a very easy uh, game compared to the later ones. Um, but, you know, it establishes all the rules. Um, it's not as good as 2, which is arguably the best, although 3's got some really nice design too. Um, they really knew what they were doing. Hey, I think I... Yeah, I passed the other uh, secret. That's all right. But yeah, there we go. That's a little bit of Super Nintendo with the Super Nintendo controller. And it's, it's great in room scale. So we're gonna pop that down. And we're just gonna grab my controllers again. And we're gonna kill focus on this for a second. Like that. And now I can get up, go over to my TV, and we can disconnect our Super Nintendo and connect my Neo Geo. Oops, wrong button. There we go, whack that in there. Put the Neo Geo down. Click that on. I am a Metal Slug fan. I do like my Metal Slugs and my Slugs Metal. There we go. I'm just gonna grab focus so I can put these down again. All right, and we're just gonna Disconnect my Super Nintendo controller, because we're not using that one now. Kill him. We can go over there. And I'm going to grab this guy. Hey, hey. There we go. Oh, yeah. It, like, you really need a stick to play Neo Geo games. It's okay, like... Some of them are okay with the gamepad, but it's just not the same. You need the stick. And the little the little clicky gamepad is uh, half measure, if you will. Hey, that birds. I got him. Come on. that punk anyway so that's been a bit a little bit of metal slug with the uh, with the controller here we can actually just pause that for now oh, I guess we can just go resume and then uh, stick that down all right we're gonna die a bunch that's all right click the sticks and we're now out of focus again and we can walk over and we can just turn the console off um, so yeah that's cool and there's my chair 
Amazing, um, amazing. I've got Mario Kart 64 in there as well. Whole bunch of stuff. Um, but what else do we have in EMU VR here? Um, if I change my seat to be the bed, so we're gonna go whoop, like this. I'm gonna put the chair here like this. Um, you also have a VCR. And we have got a few oldie timey things in here, like a little bit of Daria. Look, it's my childhood. Bit of Duckman. How good is that? A uh, bit of Rocco, Rocco's Modern Life. Ooh, Tickle Pinky, that was a good one. Um, let me just see. If we go turn the TV on, we've got our snow. Oh, it looks so good, doesn't it? And then we can uh, just hit play on our VCR. <sighs> Sit down on my bed, essentially. And we've got a bit of Invader Zim. Amazing stuff. It looks fantastic, and like, look at if we get really close up to it as well, you can see all the pixels. Look at that, the pixels. Look at Zim's face really closely. When we back back out, and it's fine and running fine. Looks great, and we can just sit down and watch a bit of Invader Zim while we play our video games. If I go over here. Um, what else have we got on here? I've got a bit of Futurama on my DVD player. I've got a bit of music we can plug in. Got a bit of UMI, a bit of uh, Vinyl Femmes. Yeah. Amazing stuff. But yeah. See here, watch your cartoons, play your video games, EMU VR, using the real controllers thanks to a Wiimote. Um, it's a pretty fantastic setup, and I could uh, very comfortably play games um, with top-notch emulation. So that's been another look at EMU VR. Uh, hope you guys have uh, gotten something out of it. I think I think it's a great program to get. Um, you can find it on the web. Um, the link will be in the uh, description of the video. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Um, maybe with something else that's not shooting or gun stocks. Who knows? There is some more gun stocks on the way though. There's one over there. That's a new one. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.